There we go. Aloha everybody, it's Baron Cindy. We're here in Waikiki Beach and it's sunrise here. Come say hi honey. Aloha, good Happy morning. Easter. Happy Easter. So we're greeting everybody with Easter wishes here in Waikiki Beach. Drinking our morning Kai coffee. Um, in, I'm Ukrainian and the tradition here, come in here. And the, and the tradition in the Ukraine is to say Christos vos kres, which means Christ is risen. And then you say, indeed he has risen. So think about when Jesus died, his uh, human soul separated from his body. That's the definition of death. But his divinity in his divinity, as the, as the son of God, he was always connected to his body. It was his human soul, the Catholic Church teaches us, that left his body. But his, but, his, but his body was always in union with his divinity, as was his soul. So think about this. When Jesus died, the Bible says, well, it says he went into hell. We say he descended into hell, but the real word for that, the real meaning of that word has changed over time. It comes from the Greek word Hades, which means the underworld. So Jesus didn't go into the hell of, of the damned. Those people are eternally separated from God. But he went to the Abraham's bosom, or, or the she or Sheol, as it was called, and he preached a freedom to the captives. And he, uh, he led them to heaven. You know, think about the saints of old. Adam and Eve were there as they trusted in him, and Abraham was there, and Moses was there, and all the great saints of the Old Testament were there. You know what? This is a real precious thing. His father, Joseph, was there too waiting for him to bring him probably the first person he greeted right see his dad and then bring him uh, bring all of those souls that were destined to heaven to heaven when Jesus died think about it when you when when the, the smallest thing in the world is split in half an atom it releases nuclear power it's called nuclear fission very very powerful think about what happened when the greatest being in the universe even above and outside of the universe when his soul separated from his body, how much power of salvation that created. And also, at the resurrection, when the smallest thing in the world is put together, the atoms are brought back together, that's called fusion. And that releases great power. So when Jesus' body and soul, were, were, when he were returned and were resurrected, that released great power and resurrection glory. So um, uh, the death brings us forgiveness and the resurrection brings us life. I'm going to show you our great friends who come down to the beach on Sunday mornings. All the beach boys, all the local people come down. And our good friend, uh, Pastor Dennis Salas, we have an Easter sunrise service. So we go to Mass, but we also join with all the other Christians. And if ever there was a time when we needed unity in the body of Christ, it's now. So that we may not all have to hold the same doctrines or be in the same denomination, we need to stick together. So okay. I'm just going to show you for a moment. Aloha, good morning, Mary. Right, right, Happy right. Easter. So this is this is the very limited this year. It's usually crowded, but this is the the Easter celebration of the Beach Boys. All of all of us surfers down here come down, and Dennis Salas, who is our good friend, uh, he's called the Barefoot Pastor. He was one of the Fabulous Five who uh, won the NIT years ago, but he never wears shoes. Uh, only, wore, only wore shoes to play basketball and run track. And, He's a world-class uh, ocean paddler, two and, two and waterman. So all the Christians are gathering. We need to embrace each other. If ever there was a time when Christians of every denomination needed to come together, it's now. We need to stand with each other and celebrate the, the risen Jesus Christ. And if you can go to Mass today, if, you're, if, they're, if your church is allowed to have services, go and receive the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Want to say, honey? And I'm here with my son Jeremiah and his wife are right there. And of course, you guys, it's sunrise here in Hawaii. So, Viva Cristo Rey, as we say in the Ukraine, which means Christ is risen. And he used to know most Christ. Indeed, he is risen. See you guys. Happy Easter in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You want to listen a little bit more to praise of Jesus?
called the Hawaiian language, uh, worshiping Jesus. The Bible says that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Isn't it beautiful how in every sort of language and every sort of tongue around the world today, people are celebrating the name of Jesus Christ and His resurrection. A little bit more music, a little bit more Eastern music here in Hawaii. For the one that you see, in like banners
uh, Easter beach boy party kind of Kapili at the beach. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you have a chance to go to Mass, everybody, today, go to church. Time for all Christians to stand together, okay? And we love the people here. This is our, this is our Waikiki Beach family down here, all celebrating together. Aloha. Here, baby, can you hold this? Viva Cristo Rey. Long live Christ the King. Ahui ho and aloha.